A really quick observation here, folks, at the very beginning. We know that this prime divisor is not two, right? Just to get our feet wet. It's not, it's not two because this is an even number plus one, which makes it an odd number. So an odd number can't be divisible by two or it wouldn't be an odd number. Now, it turns out the way to approach this or one way to approach this is consider this expression congruent to zero mod P. That's equivalent to saying P would divide, divide what we're interested in, okay? Now, also notice that this is the same thing as saying uh, 3 to the 1. To the I just, I'll just write it down, folks. No need to talk, right? Okay, notice that this statement right here is absolutely equivalent to this statement. But when you square this statement, it becomes this. Remember, if you square an exponential, you multiply the exponents. So it's equivalent to this, and this relates to the notion of order. We have 312 raised to the 30th power is congruent to 1. That means that big number is the same thing as 1 mod p. And note that p is unknown right now. Now let's talk just briefly about order. I just write down the defin definition here for you. Okay, and I won't work an example of this, but it's the smallest integer k such that a to the k is congruent to 1 mod n. It turned out to be important because 1, if you know an exponential power is congruent to one that's going to be a computation reducing mechanism okay and another result that's very important is that the order of any element is going to divide phi of that element and phi of an element is just the number of divisors or number number values less than that number that's relatively prime to that number now a, a nice kind of classic example there is to note that uh, phi at p just by the definition of prime number is p minus one, right? There's p minus one values that are relatively prime to p because that's how p is defined, okay? Simple, this is almost like a definition. So phi at p is equal to p minus one, which is order, which is an important thing because the order of any element is gonna divide this number, okay? Whatever it is. So let's move along. Now. So because of this statement right here, the order of an element divides P at P, we're going to get this statement right here, okay? Uh, well, that's probably not quite accurate, but the fact that this is true, okay, implies that the order, its order divides 30, right? Okay, again, and that's the order of A is a divisor of this, okay? So that's why this is true, okay? Now, so let's list these divisors. Let's list these divisors. Uh, we'll list two, three, what do we got, uh, five, six, ten, fifteen, and thirty. Right? So that's a lot of things to check. That's a lot of uh, values to check as far as the order goes of 312. And we are interested in the order of 312 because it'll make our computations easier, right? So these are the divisors. I don't think I left anything out. Now also notice this statement right here, which follows immediately from this statement. We've already written it down one time means that this is not the order. Okay. So the order of 312 does not divide, uh, uh, 15 right now what are the what are the things we can exclude right here well we have 3 5 and 15 that we can exclude okay meaning we don't have to worry about these divisors here uh, we don't have to worry about 5 3 or 15 right we only have to check out 6 10 uh, 2 and 30. Okay, so y'all, that's the rest of the problem. We're going to be checking out the ones that aren't checked. All right, the ones that aren't checked right here will be the ones we have to consider computationally. All right, now, I didn't go in order here. I was just going, I, I, I started with 6. Okay, so we're going to assume that the order is 6, right? The order of 312, which is the number we're interested in, we're going to assume it's 6 because that's one of the possibilities. Now, again, a lot of this is just purely... Uh, and this is for the very same reasons I said earlier, because of the Euler fee function. 6 has to divide 
the order of uh, the uh, tau of any or excuse me sigma of any prime number sigma of any prime number I'm trying to get to it here sigma of any prime number is p minus one so uh, y'all this is is this called sigma or, no it's called phi excuse me this is phi this is phi phi of any prime number is p minus one so this follows six has to divide p minus one remember we are trying to find a p right so these are the p's to get the job done seven uh, minus one okay gives you six 13 minus one gives you 12 six divides that right notice i greened out 25 because it's not a prime right so really we just have to check out these guys here 7 13 19 all the way out to 31. all right now let's see how it goes okay now y'all remember what we're looking for right here is we want this object to be congruent to zero. That's what we're seeking, for, and that, that'll give us the answer that we're looking for, okay? And meaning the prime numbers, okay? 3, 12 to the 15th plus one to be congruent to zero. So keep that in mind all the way along. If once we get one that's congruent to zero, that's towards our answer, okay? So let's keep going now. Y'all, again, y'all, a lot of this work, um, Shoot, what, what do I say? We're going to assume P is equal to 7 because that's the first one on our list right here. And so, uh, now, this right here, y'all, 312. And again, I'm not going to do this on each step. It would take way too long. But th notice that 312, we can reduce it. We can reduce this number 312 to 4 because 312 is congruent to 4. Mod 7, you guys can verify that. You can verify that 308 is divisible by uh, 4. 312 minus 4 would be 308, and that's divisible by 7. I can't, the more I talk, the more I say wrong. But in any event, that's where this 4 comes from. And now we're going to use the order part. Okay, we're assuming that the order is 6 right now. You see, we're assuming that the order is 6. So uh, let, me, let me write that in right here. We're assuming order is equal to 6, right? So that's exactly, that's, that's this line right up here. And the, the order of six gives us these possibilities, right? So you can see how this works out, folks. And again, I'll, I'll just keep quiet at the, for the rest of this. This part is just one, right? And so all you're left with is four cubed plus one. But this is 64 equals, what, 65? So that's congruent to, uh, what is it, two? Yeah, 65 minus 2 is 63, and that's divisible by uh, 7, right? So you see it's not uh, not equal to 0, right? So this isn't a prime factor. Prime 7 is not a prime factor of 3, 12 to the 15th plus 1, okay? Now let's check out the next number in the list, which is 13, okay? Y'all, in a similar fashion here, Oh, yes, uh, this is nice, y'all, because 312 is divisible. Okay, 13 divides 312. Let me write that down right here. Again, I won't go through the arithmetic on that, but 13 does divide 312. Okay. Again, that's, there's, there's a test for that. Actually. You can multiply this by, uh, you can multiply, 4 times 2 is 8, and then 8 plus 31 is 39, and 39 is divisible by 13. That's a test, by the way. You can take this last number, multiply by 4, Add it to the original. If that's divisible by 13, the whole thing is divisible by 13. But notice that's where this zero comes from. Oh, so again, not equal to one. Right? Okay. Now let's check out 19. Again, in a very similar fashion here, 312 is congruent to eight. Let me write it in. 312. Again, y'all, this took about an hour at least to work by hand just because, you know, you have to check all of this. But 312 is congruent to 8. This time we're talking mod 19. And you guys can check that. Uh, that's 304 again. And I don't know of a divisibility, to, but it just works out, okay? Uh, three, 312 is congruent to 8 modulo 19. And so the rest of the arithmetic gives us, guess what we get here, folks? This is 64, okay? So... Oh, wait, 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 wait. What is this, 513? Y'all, I'm pretty sure. I, I know that this is congruent to 19. I think it's equal to uh, 27 
times 19. Now, I may be wrong on that calculation, but in any event, this is congruent to zero, right? Obviously, 19 is the same as zero, mod 19, right? So you see this one checks. Yippee, all right, way to go. So we know that this, so far, this is our smallest prime number, right, folks? So far, this is our smallest prime number. Seven doesn't divide, 13 doesn't divide. Okay, you may be wondering about five, where we're gonna get to that. And now we're gonna assume the order is 30, folks. Notice how I purpled these things out. I hope I did at least. Uh, yeah, we're gonna assume that it's, it's, it's 30. That was one of our divisors in our list up there, right? And in a similar fashion, uh, you, you get this, but notice we can stop because the biggest one in the list is 31, right? We're looking for the smallest, so we don't have to go to the trouble to check this because we already have a smaller one, right? So we're done there. Now let's assume two. Now two is the most interesting one we had. Y'all, um, we don't have to do much work here because uh, of the fact that, and again, you, if you don't see this, folks, just think of this as three uh, squared raised to the seventh power, okay, times, uh, I'm sorry, that's 312 squared, folks. Let me, let me erase, sorry. Okay, that's the same thing as 312 squared raised to the seventh power. Isn't this cool? This is so cool. Otherwise, we would have to check all the odd numbers. All right, this really is cool. All right, so this is 312 right here. But you see, this part is just one, right? Yay, this part is just one. So this part is just one. So we have 312 plus one. This turns out to be a prime number. So you see, we get this one for free, even though it's it's much less, it's prime. But again, it's, it's a lot bigger than 19, right? But anyway, 313 is, is a prime factor of this thing. That's a fact that we know, which we wouldn't know otherwise without the modular arithmetic. But anyway, that we're, that's of no interest because we're looking for the smallest one. Now, y'all, in a similar fashion all the way down, um, uh, we have to try 10, I think, which is the last one. All right. And uh, we have to check 11. Again, 21 is not prime. It, fa it satisfies this divi division statement, but it doesn't, it's, it's not a prime number. Okay. Now we haven't checked 11 yet. So um, let's see here. And y'all, by the way, notice that five got taken care of in this process, didn't it? You can see uh, five, five would, uh, would satisfy that condition. So uh, this is the very last one that we have to check, okay? This is the very last one that we have to check for 11 and we end up getting one, okay? So we can rule out 11 also. And again, you guys can verify all of this stuff if you feel like it. But anyway, so the, uh, we're, we're done because we've made it through all the orders, folks. Notice the possible orders were 10, 2, 30, and the one at the very beginning. I don't know if I even purpled it out. Uh, oh, yeah, I did, yeah. So 6, okay. And that's the one that was that got the job done, actually. So that's our answer, folks. P is equal to 19. It is the smallest prime divisor. All right, and, and again, we've exhaustively gone through every case. I don't think I made any mistakes, but it's that's a, a bold claim when you're doing so many computations. Okay, so uh, the answer is, uh, the answer to the question is, I'm so proud of it, I'll make it larger, 19. 19 is the smallest prime divisor of this object. Thanks for viewing.